welcome back to my channel. So it's been a little moment. I was a little bit under the weather. I had a sinus infection, unfortunately. You know, it kind of goes with the changes of seasons. But I'm back and I think this is a great video to come back on because I am doing five looks for you. That's right. I said five with Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity. And this is from Pat McGrath, of course. And we are talking about her big mama jamma. This is 18 Shades of glorious eyeshadows. So if you are new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're an oldie but goodie, welcome on back. My name is Ashley and I have a doctorate in pharmacy and that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup. And eyeshadow truly is my jam. And I really love Pat McGrath eyeshadow, just in case if you have not noticed, you know. But like I said, we have five looks today with the Big Mama Jamma Celestial Divinity. So I don't know if you guys caught it, but I got a lot of love on that video. Thank you so much. I did an actual overview of Before You Buy with this particular whole holiday collection. And I broke down the palette and what shades were existing and what palettes what palettes the shades came from and all that good news. So Facts on the palette. We know the palette is $78. We've been there and we have 18 shades and 12 of them are repeat shades. So you have Dark Galaxy and we have Galactic Go from the Star Wars collection that sold out ever so fastly last uh, fall. So Mother Pat was able to bring it back. I don't think she was able to really bring it back in the Star Wars collection. Uh, a lot of people have been saying that maybe like the deal and the packaging, you know, Star Wars franchise is so huge that she just wasn't able to bring it back in that original packaging because probably, you know, contractual agreements. But a lot of people really wanted those shades. So if you were not able to get that palette or those two palettes, you now have those two six pants in it. And I think that is great. And once again, you have this section right here and those are the new shadows so like i said this palette does retail for 78 dollars. it is cardboard and you have a full mirror on the inside which is great and it's nice quality and then on the sides you have the ribbons that has helped to keep the palette up the artwork is beautiful it's this light millennial pink with the gold and then once you turn it on the back you have the shade names are on the back so we don't have the plastic insert cards that we are normally accustomed to when we have like the six pan palettes with uh the little mini mothership palette this is the unicarton of the celestial Divinity and it actually opens up right here and this is how so we don't have like the whole envelope <laughs> Situation that we do with the other palette and then once you turn on the back of course you have all the ingredients and Once you open this palette, it is good for 12 months I get a lot of questions when it comes to this especially with Pat McGrath because the price point is so expensive if you Keep your shadows in cool dry area. You can use them past 12 months. It, it'll be okay Now if the shadows for some reason start like turning colors or you know, it's a weird smell or something disrupting the packaging around the shadows, you probably don't want to use it. But like I said, keep them in a cool, dry area and your makeup will generally be okay. And it usually goes for most shadows that are powder based. As far as the price point, we know the price point is a little bit cheaper because of the cardboard packaging and we don't have the lacquer packaging that we are accustomed with Pat McGrath. And the pan size is a little bit smaller. These uh, roughly come out to about 1.1 gram of product per Pan. The total um, total package size is 19.8 grams of product when you add all 18 shades together. So you get a nice amount of product. I mean, these are not small pans. I thought the pans were going to be a little bit smaller. Like when I pull out my ecstasy kit, uh, this is one of the first ecstasy kits. And these are the shadows right here. So these shadows are a little bit smaller compared to when you hold enough the Celestial Divinity. So this is about the average size of the shadow, uh, a normal shadow. So I think that's great that a lot of people are going to be able to try this brand that everybody so seems to love at a more affordable price point. So like I said, I have five looks. So let's stop rambling. The palette is available now and it's also available on Sephora.com. It took a little while to get to me, but yeah, it is what it is. You know, that's the problem with YouTube. You're like in a rush, like, where's my palette? Where's my palette? So let's go ahead. I'm going to do some swatches and get into the five looks and some final thoughts at the end.
Let's go ahead and get started. Eyebrows are filled in using my Goof Proof Brow Pencil, shade 3.75. And then I have Prime using my Too Faced Concealer. This is the multi sculpting concealer in the shade Butterscotch. Let's go ahead and get into the first look. I have my refer number 16 brush. All my brushes are dirty. Don't 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 judge me, okay? Thank you. <laughs> so we're gonna go in with Venetian Orchid, which is right here. Venetian Orchid. And I'm just gonna load this up on the brush and we're gonna put it back and forth in the crease. And I'm just buffing this in the crease back and forth. Some windshield wipe for motions like usual. And this matte appears a little bit darker than it does in the pan, so I do like that. You know, sometimes her mats are actually a lot darker in the pan than they appear in real life. I'm going in with Wayne Goss number 17 brush. I am going to take, let's see, I'm going to take Major Mahogany, which is one of the newer shades, the brown shades. So I guess this look, I might focus on the new shades. I don't know. We shall see. And I'm just going to put that in the crease and just blend it on out. And this shade gets very dark. And it has a little major mahogany. It blends really nice with this Venetian Orchid. Kind of brings out a little plumminess to the look. That the crease is like nice and smoky. I'm still go back in with that same number reference 16 brush. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that Venetian Orchid and just kind of blend out where I would put major mahogany. In refer number two brush, gonna pick up more major mahogany and I'm just going to pat that right here on the outer corner. And have it meet with the crease. G Builder Pro going in with Fuchsia Shock. And I'm going to apply this directly to the lid. Let's see. Let's see. I think it might apply a little bit better with the finger. Let's see. This is because look how bright it is. Okay, focus. Thank you. <laughs> this is how bright it is. Oh, yeah. It's so much more intense with your finger. It's actually a really beautiful color. In G flat definer, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of lunar champagne and we're gonna pop that in the inner corner. That is really pretty. Now I know I said I was gonna use the new shades, but only but I really want to pick up Electron which is right here and because it has some dual chrome action I think it will look really nice with the shade Fuchsia Struck and we're gonna pop that just right there just to kind of blend, tie those two shades together again way number 17 gonna pick up a little bit more of Major Mahogany and just going to just deepen up the crease just a little bit right there. All right, so that is look number one. All right, let's jump into look number two. Pick going back in, uh, reference number 16 brush, going to start with major mahogany. And I'm just gonna throw this all in the crease. You see that shade can be, it's very deep, but it blends out very nicely. So I'm just blending this across the crease. And I'm gonna go dip in one more time. So 
So now that I have that blended out, I'm going to go ahead and take a Sonya G Classic Crease Brush. And I am going to go in with the shade Corruption, which is one of my favorite shades by Pat McGrath in general. And I'm just going to pick that up and I'm going to blend this into the crease. This is such a beautiful shade and the duochrome magic in the shade is wonderful. In this shade, depending on how you turn, can't really catch it on camera. It does have a little bit of green in it. And this shade is beautiful, just like all over the crease in the lid. And I'm just going to use some right here, the same crease brush and on the outer corner. On your G Builder Pro, going to go in with Megabyte, which is right here. Going in with Megabyte, I'm going to just go ahead and apply this to the lid. Infuse it in with the shade corruption in the crease. Ooh, this is turning out really, really pretty. And that is not even wet. Now, I picked up a little bit too much of the shade, so I do have some fallout, but we'll clean that up later. Back in with that way number 16, I'm going to pick up a little bit more of the Extreme Mahogany. Just going to deepen this up right here. Along the brow bone. But I'm not going to cover up Corruption, and I'm just going to drag a little bit. Build a Pro, Sonya G. Going to jump back in with Corruption, just going to pat a little on that outer corner look at the dual chrome it's so pretty flat definer brush by sonya g going to jump in with a little bit of galactic gold here is galactic gold this does have some dual chrome action to it too just gonna pop that in the inner corner all right so i'm gonna do my face makeup Lashes, liner, and I'll be right. All right, I am back, and here are the two final looks. And I will mention my face details down below, but I will mention my lip real quick. It is the Pat McGrath the Vinyl in the shade Love Interest. And you guys have seen this in the past couple of videos. I'm really enjoying this formula, so when she puts some lip products on sale or Sephora VIB, I will pick up another couple shades of this. And then I topped it off with my little Opulus gloss. This is the shade Dreamscape, and it's from a mini kit that she's had recently. So that is the lip combo. So let's get into this eyeshadow. So I really like how dark and smoky this look is. But let me tell you, this look right here with Corruption and Megabyte together is giving me all the feels like literally i think it is just so pretty the dual chrome shifts and then that gold that had that megabyte brings even though it's green and you know really i'm like a sucker for green eyeshadow so i might be a little biased and then with gigabyte in the corner and i really love the shade fuchsia struck i was kind of wishing that this was the shade that was in um what is it Rose Decadence, but I'm glad she gave it to us here. It's so vibrant, so pretty, and then topped in with a little bit of Electron. If you really do both of those together, that would be amazing. So I'm loving how uh, Extreme Mahogany is, like it looks dark, but you can blend it out where it's smoky, but it's not too smoky. So you don't have to be so afraid of that shade. And I also like how Venetian uh, Orchid looks as well. So let's go ahead and jump into some more looks. All right, I'm back. Eyelid is reprimed. Going in with my Wayne Goss number 16 brush. We're going to start with the shade Venomous Void. That is the third matte shade in the palette right here. So I'm going to pick that up. And we're just going to dust this all over the crease. This is a beautiful plummy shade. And I'm just going to make sure I have some right here because it's usually where my shadow sticks. Or actually it doesn't really pick up because of the creases or the folds. 
since I have such of a kind of like a meaty eyelid and I'm just going to blend this down into this corner just buff it out I'm gonna go back in pick up some more and just deepen up that color and make sure it's all nicely blended as that is blended out I'm gonna go in with a smaller blending brush with the mini booster by Sonya G and I'm gonna go into fuchsia struck which was that one of the newer shades and I'm just going to pop this actually in the crease that's why I didn't really worry about it, it wasn't too blended right there it's like oh, I'm gonna be laying another shade down Ooh, and this blends out really really nice and see that's the magic within Pat McGrath shimmers like you don't have to have, be too worried about not having a matte because a lot of the satin and shimmer shades they blend out so well just like if they were a matte shade back in with the weight number 16 I'm gonna pick up just a little bit more of the venomous boy and just buff over some of the areas where we lost some of that shade oh I really like that shade in the crease it's really pretty for zero two going in with another one of my favorite shades in the palette going to go in with the shade smoke amethyst just right here and we're going to pop this on to the outer V and kind of work it up into the crease lightly and you're going to drag it down here on the lower lash line as well mini booster I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that smoked amethyst out in the crease and build it into that fuchsia struck shade so that did not take much at all I'm gonna go in with the shade Odyssey which is right here and I'm gonna see how this works with the brush because if I remember correctly last time Odyssey is more, it had a little bit more, I don't know, it just really works better with your fingers. So let me just, it's such a thick foil shade, but it does just kind of play better with your finger. So I'm just going to tap that on and then kind of fuse that up into the crease. And you get so much better color payoff. I have my flat definer brush and I'm going to go in with a little bit of dragonfly that's one of the new shades and I'm just going to pop that in the inner corner it's a fun little highlight or just to bring a little fun pop of color to the eye look Ooh, that is actually really pretty next look Going in, reference number 16 brush, we're gonna go in with a little Venetian, Venusian Orchid, which was the lighter matte shade. And I'm just gonna blend this at the top of the transition area. Just gonna blend it back and forth. We're gonna pick up just a little bit more. That is a really beautiful shade, that pinky shade. Then going in with the mahogany shade, that brown shade, I'm just going to buff that down below. Just going to blend that out. <laughs> As you see, I just kind of pick up a lot and then I just keep blending it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You do have to be careful with her matte shades because they do really, really pack a punch. Going in with my Blender Pro from Sonya G, I'm going to pick up the shade Saturnalia, which is this beautiful red shade right here. I'm going to load my brush up and just kind of buff this right in the crease and down into the inner corner. A beautiful red shade then I'm just kind of working this onto the outer lid as well I 
Going in Builder Pro, I'm gonna go in with Bronze Nebula, which is right up here. I'm just going to load the brush up and I'm just going to pat it right here. And work it in with Saturnalia. Then flat definer brush, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Electron, this beautiful purple shimmery shade right here. And I'm just going to smudge a little down here on the lower lash line and just kind of fuse it into that Saturnalia shade. Brush, gonna jump in with a little bit of Cosmic, which is right down below. Oh gosh, this palette. <laughs> right here and I'm just going to pop a little bit of that in the inner corner all right I'm gonna add some lashes and liner and I'll all right I'm back and here are the next set of final looks and I'm really digging it I mean this eye came out gorgeous so I would say this would be my favorite eye but I really like how light and airy and fun this eye looks as well with that pop of bronze and I think that's like the magic in her shadows it's like you don't have to be so structured and think like okay this is my crease color this is my outer V I got to use a matte here you can just kind of place the shadows wherever you want to and the formula is so great that everything just kind of meshes really well together so these are the last the next two looks i hope you really like them let's go ahead and get into one more reference number 16 gonna go in with venomous void and we're just gonna blend this all across the transition area Just blending that back and forth. Going in, reference number 02, gonna pick up the Smoke Amethyst shade. That was that deeper, sparkly purple. Just going to pack this into the outer V. G Builder Pro gonna jump in with the shade Dragonfly. And I'm just gonna start patting this in this open space. Ooh, this color on top of these purples is beautiful. Although we've seen this color so many times before. I feel like this one has a little bit more lime green reflex to it. And I'm just going to work this into the crease and just kind of carve out the edge like I'm doing a cut crease. And I want to see if it's a little bit more impactful if we just use our finger. Here's This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to, yeah, I mean... Yeah, brush or finger, it doesn't really matter. So now that I have Dragonfly laid down, I really love how it looks paired with the purples. I'm just gonna go ahead and intensify the purples. So I picked up the Mini Booster by Sonya G, and I'm gonna go back in with that Smoke Amethyst, and I'm just going to kind of like trace around here, just so that is a little bit more intensified. And then I'll smoke, I'll blend that corner out in just a second. But I just wanted that area to be just a little bit more dramatic. Sonya G, Blender Pro, I'm just going to do a few circular motions right here. Just to make sure everything is kind of like fused out. The finer brush, picking up Smoke Amethyst, we're gonna run this along the lower lash line. I'm just doing just a little bit. In brush, now I'm gonna pop in with just a little bit of Galactic Gold and place it down here. All right, I am back and this is the final look. 
So I am in love with this shade called Dragonfly, even though we have seen this shade about 50,000 times, but I really like how much shine, how much glitter it has, and the little specks of like neon green just play so perfectly. So this is by far my most favorite look. And uh, I think like the palette is really nice. So let's go ahead and talk about the palette. So obviously, you know, the elephant in the room. A lot of people are upset because A, you have uh, 12 repeating shades, okay? So this palette is going to be great. If you did not pick up Star Wars, a lot of people were not able to pick up Star Wars. This is great for you. And then what I've also been noticing that a lot of people, they have not tried Pat McGrath yet. So, you know, we have to kind of take a step back. A lot of people have not tried Pat McGrath because of the price point. They felt like maybe six shades for $65. That, that's, a, that's a lot of money for a six pan shadow, not to mention that $125 for 10 is just like, I mean, mind blown. I mean, even I felt that way when her brand first came out or really not when the brand first came out, but when the actual mothership one, two and three came out, I was like, wait. And luckily I was able to finagle that for, you know, birthday gift or a Christmas gift, you know, but they, it is expensive and everybody just can't justify that. So a lot of people that I heard in the comments, a lot of people that said in my videos, they were like, this palette makes them want to try the brand because this is something, a price point that they feel comfortable with. You get 18 shades, you're getting a good size pan, even though it's not as large as her other pans, and you're getting a beautiful color scheme. You know, um, I feel like even though there's three mattes, we know, we talk about this all the time with Pat McGrath, like, and I talked about it when I was doing the shadow looks. You don't have to necessarily use a matte in the crease. So just because it's three, it doesn't mean that, oh, you have to go in with mahogany and then put whatever on the lid and then put whatever. You don't have to set your looks up the same all the time. And I try to really thoroughly demonstrate that so you can get a lot of versatility out of this palette. Now, this palette is more a berry tone palette with a pop of green. I love that color scheme. If you guys know me, I love some berry tones. I love a good, you know, maroon, plum deep matte shade. I love shades like this. And I love a good mahogany shade. And you know, green shadows, you know, I love green shadows as well. So like for me, this is just like, it makes my heart sing. This is like a beautiful color scheme. But overall, I feel like a lot of people can wrap their minds around it. This is not so much of everyday palette, but I do think that you can get some very everyday looks, especially by using like maybe Makeup by which is mahogany or taking Celestial uh, Champagne, or no, this is called Lunar Champagne, excuse me, with the mahogany, or just using the bronze shades. You can definitely get some very wearable looks. And you can just get some looks that just kind of take it over the top. But the shadows are the same. I don't find any quality differences. So you don't have to worry about that. You're getting the same great quality for a lesser price point. You're getting something new. You know, it's the Mothership Mega. We never thought we would see this many shades when it comes to Pat McGrath. We just kind of thought like 10 was it. And, you know, so I'm kind of, I'm happy about it. And I'm happy to own it. It's a little different. And it's just something, it's kind of like a collector's item to my collection. Because Lord knows, I really just didn't need this palette, even for the six new shades. I just did it. <laughs> but I'm happy I own it. The only thing, um, like, I like the ribbons, but I don't really care for the ribbons. Um, I'm being careful with it because some people I know that I watch their ribbons have popped if they've kind of like pushed the palette back too far. I understand it. So it's like you can get a nice big mirror and it lays flat and it's like it, you could do your makeup with it without having to worry about the flap just opening and closing too much. Okay, like everybody wants to do stuff while I'm filming. I'm like lawnmowers, people working in other parts of the condo building where I live. It's a lot. I hope I can edit it out. But with that being said, you guys know my feelings. I like it. <clears throat> I think like I created some beautiful looks. Now, I did just focus really more on some of the new shades. And if you want to see other shades in action, please go and look at my other videos. I do have videos on both of the Star Wars palettes where I want to say I did like at least three looks with each of those six pan palettes. So you can use those for inspiration on how to play with the galactic gold side or the uh, dark, um, dark galaxy side. 
So with that being said, let me know what is your favorite look. This right here is my favorite look. And then I also like when we did look number two over here. I was really digging that look with Gigabyte. And then I was also digging the look where we had Fuchsia Shock in the crease along with a little bit of Dragonfly as the inner corner highlight. So those are my three of my favorite looks out of the five. So let me know down below in the bottom in the comments which look you love the best. Did you pick up the palette? Did you skip? Let me know what you decided to do. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here in my little makeup family. And with that being said, you already know what time it is. It is time for the chick dance. Hey, 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 hey. Mm, mm, chick dance. Mm, mm, mm. All right, guys. Bye.